Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. I have got, I'm gonna wait. I've got some pretty bad news. Not for you guys, it doesn't really affect you guys whatsoever. It affects me a pretty great deal. We've had, we had some weird stuff with our battery. You guys are aware we had some weird stuff going on with the battery and then everyone was like, well, Steven killed the battery. And I said that, I was like, I killed the battery because I had left it on without having the car going, I killed the battery. But we've had some weird battery oddities anyway. Well, a few days ago the check engine light came on. So, um, and the battery light was going on and being solid for like a minute and then going off. And the battery light was just having some weird things. So I, I talked to, to my dad and he said, let me run it up to the auto shop and get them to do the diagnostics on it. Because cars are computers, guys. Did you know that? Cars are computers. You can hook them up and it tells you what's wrong with them. Cars are really cool. The future is awesome. Anyway, um, so they did it and they said that not only was the battery bad, like the battery's not not much, not going to live much longer or something, but also our alternator is shot. So we need a new battery and a new alternator. Can we take the battery to the place in its warranty? Uh, we, maybe in theory, but I think that we're like, it may not work because the alternator's bad, so the alternator's not doing its job for the battery or something. Oh. I'm not real familiar with cars, to be honest, so I'm not sure how all this works, but I believe that's, that's my limited understanding of it, so I don't know. Um, it's not going to be super expensive to replace. Mm, alternators are expensive. They're not. Well, I was thinking it was going to be ten trillion dollars, and no. it's not. It's not going to be ten trillion, but still, old girl's getting old. We're coming over to my parents' house tonight for some dinner, and for one, this is in. They might be Giants' new album, Glean. I don't know if you guys were are aware, but uh, they might be Giants are doing Dial a Song again. It's something they did a long time ago, like thirty years ago. They would make a new song like every week and they would put it on an answering machine so you would call this number and it would play like the new song and that's i think it's one of the ways that they kind of gain some notoriety for that but they're doing it again this year they're doing a new song every single week and uh, they've been doing it for the entirety of 2015 so far and they're starting to put that stuff on uh discs so glean is out the other cool thing we got is this the uh zelda majora's mass 3d messenger bag this is one of the um Club Nintendo rewards and Man, I, I don't want to be like this is really terrible, but like this is really cheap Like I guess I don't know what I was really expecting, but um It's just a flap like there's no buckle or there's a Velcro There is on the inside when you open it up. Oh There's a velcro here. Okay. Well at least it's got that going for it. I don't know. I guess I was just expecting it to be a little bit nicer, but maybe I've just owned nicer uh, messenger bags no, in the past. Made that. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's still cool because it's like an officially licensed Nintendo product. It's got the Club Nintendo logo and the Majora's Mask thing. Um, we had enough points to get one. I think we were like not that many points away from being able to get this and the jigsaw puzzle, but we ultimately went with this. I think we talked about this on a vlog a while back, but um, yeah, it's finally here. Pretty cool. C, 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 land. Get it? It's like duck, duck, goose, but with the sea and land critters. Sweet potatoes don't come from the sea, Steve. Now, I'm talking about the fish. After dinner, we were going to grab a dessert to bring back to the house. And we actually went to Dunkin' Donuts, but it turns out Sunday evening is not prime time for donuts. And they were very picked over, and there's hardly anything left. So we didn't want to get a dozen glazed blueberries, so um, we stopped by Publix and got... A dessert and uh, we got a cinnamon roll. This thing was big. It was on sale so it was already pretty cheap but it's like this giant cinnamon roll with cream cheese icing. Just put it in the microwave for a minute. Man this is good. <laughs> it's really good. It, it uh, tastes just like Cinnabon. Mm -hmm. Oh Cinnabon is so good and I haven't had one in a long time. I think, the, I think the last time I had Cinnabon was with you in like Savannah. Or have we had it since? Then? Oh we've had it in um the Charlotte Airport, haven't we? Well, we have, but what? Where else did we have it? Um, the Carowinds. We, when did we go to Carowinds? When we lived in Columbia, that's last time I remember. I don't ever remember going to Carowinds. We all went to Carowinds. We, we all went to Carowinds. Mm -hmm. When we lived in Columbia. And you had the, the big day. turkey leg. Mm -hmm. You and Dad. Oh, that's when there was no one at the park, and you rode the roller coaster a million times. Uh -huh. It was really fun. <laughs> that's right. It was like October or something. Yeah, yeah, it was an off season and Mal got off the roller coaster and then just got on again and again and again and again. I don't remember eating Cinnabon, but We did, it was the last thing we did. Okay. I love I love cinnamon rolls so much.
We're finishing off today with a bit of bad news, unfortunately. Many of you are probably familiar with P.T., which was a playable teaser for the new Silent Hill game. We've shown it off on Steven Plays. We've, uh, we've actually shown it off quite a bit on Steven Vlog. We've had a lot of our friends play it. Um, Emil, Austin, Jarrett, uh, Seth, just a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, some time ago, um, Kojima and Konami had a little split. Kojima uh, is the guy, legendary game uh, game producer, responsible for the Metal Gear series and also for this uh, PT demo because he was in charge of this Silent Hills project. Uh, he and Konami split. Um, I don't know if it was confirmed that he was fired or not, but for whatever reason he left Konami, which was the uh, game company that was actually producing the game. And all of his games, which is kind of bad. Um, so when that happened, everyone was like, I wonder what the future of PT is. Well, a few days ago, it was announced that PT was going to be pulled from PSN. By the time you guys get this, unfortunately, it's going to be too late to actually download, which means it's very likely that you will never be able to play PT again, at least unless you have, I don't know, some sort of hacked PS4 and someone uploads it somewhere. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is everyone has been really worried about where PT and Silent Hills was in all of this. Was it officially over? Today, Del Toro uh, was, I don't know, somewhere, some conference or something, and, and was asked about it, I believe, and he basically more or less confirmed that it was dead. Um, and that's really sad, because PT was one of the most creative, engaging things that I've seen, it, it, and engaging and interactive uh, experience that I've seen in a long, long time. I mean, it was... It was really well done. It was really, really well done. It was extremely horrifyingly scary, and there was really nothing to it. It was all in your head. Um, I was really excited to, to see what they were going to do with Silent Hills, but it's dead, and that makes me really sad. Um, maybe something will happen, and it'll get picked up again at some point down the road. Maybe it'll get fixed, but for right now, Silent Hills is something that's not happening, and uh, that does make me sad. So, sorry to end on a sad note. By the, time you, by the time you guys get this, you may already know that. Maybe you haven't heard. It is a shame, because PT, whether you liked it or not, was extremely well done. So, I had high hopes for Silent Hills as well. Um, the guy who was going to be the protagonist in the game, or modeled after in his voice, uh, Norman, Norman Reedus, I think it's his name, um, he also tweeted and was like, you know, this sucks, because I wanted to be a, a part of this. So, yeah, it's dead, at least for now. But we'll keep our fingers crossed, and maybe something will come of it in the future. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Stupid toaster strudel is so hot that it all just goes Mee! and then just puddles down here. That's not exciting. I'm not excited by this. I'm disappointed by this. Oh, all right, I'm going to get back in the driver's seat. I'm back you on keep... the turret. Let's go. Also, Halo 2, one of the best soundtracks. Really, really good. Ooh, it's dead. Yep, they can die. Woo, mad air!